you've been very reluctant to condemn the government of Iran. Can I read you what Amnesty International has said about Iran last year? I think that year? is actually, if I may say so. Uh, you, you're, you're spending too much time reading the Daily Mail, do you know that? I promise I'm not. Are I, you OK? I, can I, I, I was reading a poster <coughs> about uh, uh, an event celebrating the Iranian Revolution at which you spoke. What? You spoke, you spoke right. at a demonstration. What? Um, well, you were on the I was, um, I was on a delegation to Iran in the company of a number of other MPs, including Jack Straw. I spent the whole of that time in that delegation discussing two things, the nuclear issue and human rights. I raised human rights at every conceivable opportunity during that. I think that um, Iran right. nuclear deal is good and welcome, but the issues of human rights abuse in Iran, of executions, of flogging, beheading, flogging, torture, beheading is totally wrong. And therefore, there has to be human rights demands made on the Iranian government, which I make. But you, I mean, you took money from Iran. You took money from uh, for <coughs> press TV events. A very long time ago, I did some programs for. Mm. Yes, I did some programs for press TV. I ceased to do any programs when they treated the green movement the way that they did. And I also, at all of those occasions made my voice very clear about human rights abuses because I want to lead a government okay. that puts human rights at the centre of its foreign policy, no matter how uncomfortable it is with any government and around so the world. And I've consistently raised those issues with every world leader I've met, including President Xi. You've been, you've been very outspoken about, for instance, abuses of human rights in Saudi Arabia. Yes. Will you be as outspoken about what's going on in Iran? I mean, I was just yes. thinking of that. that yes. you, know, you remember the woman who took her hijab off yes. and she was standing very bravely waving yeah. a hijab because she did not want to be told what to wear right. on the street. And she's now disappeared. Listen. So what's your message to the Iranians about that, or the Iranian government? I want you to be part of the international community. I want you to respect human rights. I want you to be part of and respect the uh, Human Rights Council of the United Nations, and we as a Labour government will not walk away from the European Convention on Human Rights or the Human Rights Council. Human rights is something that was fought for by ordinary people, defended by very brave human rights defenders around the world. I'm totally committed. Human rights will be the core of our foreign policy.